time for your weekly financial workout with your elite personal trainers, Ryan and Bob Payne, guiding you on how to build a stronger and more robust financial plan. So get ready, we're about to pump you up. Live from the greatest city in the world, this is No Pain, No Gain. Good morning, this is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Payne Capital Management, along with our chief investment officer, the man with the plan, and happens to be my father, Bob Payne. Good morning, Dad. What's shaking on this uh, glorious, getting warmer April weekend? What's uh, what's the latest, Bob? Well, you got beautiful weather, Rye. We have the Masters which is getting me very excited. I can't wait to the finish today. And then we also have Game of Thrones, final season. Finally. Tonight. Finally. Yes. We've got a big pool in the office of who's going to get killed first this year. So Yeah, I just sent my list in. I'm in. <laughs> I'm, in the, yeah. I'm in the pool. Oh, by the way, you got to put some money in there for me. I don't have any money. All right. Let me so. see what I can do, Bob. Let me see what I can <laughs> okay, do. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> well, we've got a great show for you this morning to help you on your path to financial freedom. We're going to talk about unlikely wisdom. We're going to quote a couple of celebrities whose words unintentionally can be taken as sound financial planning advice. We're going to talk about the lies we tell ourselves. When it comes to dealing with major financial decisions, we often delude ourselves opposed to dealing with the issues head on. Bob and I are going to discuss why you need to dispel these financial rationalizations ASAP, along with this week's financial propaganda where we call out the worst advice the financial media has recently been broadcasting. And we have our spotlight segment today. We have Chris Payne, another Payne on the show. And we're going to actually review and break down someone's real retirement plan for you. So let's hop to it. Bob, you wouldn't necessarily expect these famous people to be dispensing wisdom about financial matters. In fact, you might expect the opposite. But with a little bit of creativity, let's discuss some celebrity quotes that we can actually glean a little bit of financial insight from. And the first one is from Lindsay Lohan. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm my <laughs> own worst enemy, and I know that. How can we relate that to our finances? Well, you know, she hit the nail on the head, Rye. We are our own worst enemy, all of us, because we're all average, normal human beings, and we're emotional. And emotions make you do things that you wouldn't normally do if you were being rational. And the whole idea of being invested in the markets is about being invested long term, right? Every all the statistical evidence says that it's really just about being in over long periods of time. Yet every day the prices go up and down in our portfolio. You have the financial media or we call financial propaganda telling you it's apocalypse now, it's the end of the world, get out of the market, or everything's great and rosy, put more money in the market. So it's kind of like this yo yo effect on our emotions, which makes it very hard to stay invested. You know, I was just talking to my buddy Joe the other day. He plays golf, I think, every day. And he Joe. said every time he walks into the men's grill after a round of golf, he said everybody goes right to the monitor, you know, because they have the stock market up in every room wherever you go anymore. And if the market's down, they go, oh, the market's down. It's horrible. Oh, the, oh, the market's up. I feel really good. And he says the same thing all the time. Are you buying or selling today? Neither. Well, then what do you care? You know, if you're an <laughs> investor, it doesn't matter what it does every day. But we're emotional, right, Rye? Fear and greed make us do some really dumb things. And that's the argument to have a coach. Um, you know, We always talk about the proverbial Tiger Woods, who's considered one of the greatest golfers of all time. Hopefully, he'll do well this weekend in the Masters. Uh, but he always had a coach. And so it doesn't matter how good you are, what you know. It's just having a third party who's unemotional, keep your emotions in check, and is thinking about the long or the big picture, the long term for you, makes it so much easier than you having to rely on yourself especially when you get close to retirement, Bob, and you're in retirement, the stakes are so much higher, so the pressure is so much greater. You know what, Ryan? I never thought I'd say this, but Lindsay Lohan was wise beyond her years. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think you'd ever say that either. Well, another quote from a unlikely celebrity would be Rosie O'Donnell, and she once said, anybody that you put on TV for five hours a week is going to say something stupid at some point and you know, we talk about the financial propaganda on CNBC, Fox Business News. It's entertainment, Bob. It's not great financial advice. Absolutely right. One of the greatest asset allocators in our lifetime, a fellow named David Swenson, runs the Yale Endowment Fund. And he says that uh, financial propaganda, places like CNBC, Jim Cramer with his bad money show, these are the most dangerous people to you in terms of your financial health. Wow. Why does he say they're the most dangerous? That's a pretty bold statement. Because they take something that's very complex, something that's very difficult, and they make it into a game show. 
telling you, if you own five stocks, you're fully diversified. They're very dangerous people, very dangerous to listen to that stuff because not only are they trying to entertain you and sell advertising, but then they pretend they can predict things that can't be predictable. Last I checked, right, is the future knowable? <laughs> Yeah, not not in my lifetime, Bob. I, I had this crystal ball that I got 18 years ago, and I got in the business. And it just hasn't worked yet, not one day. Um, and it's I probably think that's in that dorm room in uh, Villanova. You probably left it there, <laughs> probably next to my magic eight ball. Um, <laughs> but no, I think the problem is on TV. You get these people; they have the PhD after the name. Maybe they're wearing a suit and a tie, or they're in a really nice dress, and they sound so professional. And so all of a sudden, we're led to believe that they can read the tea leaves better than you and I can. And it's just not true. It's really just an illusion. And to your point, Bob, lest we forget, number one, it's entertainment. You know, They're looking to entertain you, and that has nothing to do with you getting to your financial goals. So, right. That's why uh, PhD stands for permanent head damage, because they're banging their <laughs> head against the wall because they're so often wrong. <laughs> I never knew that. So I'm glad we cleared that up today on No Pain, yes. No Gain. Yes. That's very well known. Uh, <laughs> that's very well known. Another quote from an unlikely source would be from Mike Tyson, the great boxer. He once said, everybody has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. This is a really good one. How can we equate this to our finances? Well, in terms of Mike Tyson, then he bites off your ear, right? Is that how you respond <laughs> That's to that? Right. Good one, Bob. <laughs> yeah. But you know, Ryan, it's so true. You think that uh, everything's going well, your portfolio is going up every month. Let's take 2017. We didn't have a down statement. Everything in the world went up every month. 12 months in a row, and then 2018 is a negative year. And suddenly, you know, people aren't as brave when the statement's going down every month or when you have the worst quarter, you know, since 1981, like we did in the last quarter of 2018, suddenly they're not so brave. And it kind of is a wake-up call. So getting punched in the mouth is like getting a statement that goes down a lot. Yeah, and I think that's the problem is we don't know that we're doing things wrong until the market actually goes down big. And then it's like, oh, I guess I did have too much risk in my portfolio. And here's my biggest fear, Bob, because the market's actually almost recovered everything that we lost last year, which is incredible. Only within like six months, we're back to the highs, basically, is we're going to repeat history again. Now that things are going up again, we're going to get complacent and we forget how bad it feels when the market actually does sell off that we don't make those proactive moves we need to make. It's when things are going well and your portfolio is going up, that's when you need to worry the most. That's when you have to make sure that your risk's in check because we're going to get another big sell-off eventually. And when it happens, you need to be prepared ahead of time. It sounds like you have to be like Noah in the Bible. In wow, words, going biblical start, arts, Bob. Yeah. Well, he didn't start building the ark when it started to rain, did he? Well said, Bob. And that's exactly what financial planning or good financial planning is about. So if you're thinking to yourself right now, I need to be proactive with my strategy. I need to get on track for my retirement. Here's your shot to do it. If we wanted the next 10 callers, you have over $200,000 saved for retirement. Here's your shot to get a full holistic financial master plan. If you're one of the next 10 people that call and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, Bob and I will run for you our famous total financial master plan. And we're going to do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review where we look at the big picture. Simply print those statements off the computer. March statements are probably in. Put them in a folder. Bring them in the office. Bob and I are going to build for you your own personalized financial portal where we can get a bird's eye view of everything. We can start looking at all the critical components. We're going to look at diversification. Did you get hit hard in December? Did you know what risk you were taking? Do you have a lot of accounts in a lot of different places all doing the same thing? Bob and I are going to show you how to properly diversify and protect your portfolio against the downturns. We're going to look at fees. Yes, I know it's shocking, but there's a lot of hidden fees in investment portfolios. Bob and I are going to show you where all those hidden costs are and those insurance products, annuities, mutual funds, show you how to reduce costs on your portfolio so there's more money in your pocket for retirement. And we're going to look at income. Income is so critical. You need to live off income in retirement. You need to replace your income. We're going to show you how to fill in that income gap or optimize the income on your portfolio so you have a lifetime of income you cannot live. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan and determine that critical question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies now our family has been working on for over four decades to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. And all you have to do is call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. 
If you are one of our next 10 callers and you've saved over 200000 for your retirement, our team will run for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost, but there won't be a plan unless you call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is Bob Payne, and I'm with my son, Bry Payne, and we're the Paynes. No pain, no gain. Financial Radio. It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with the team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management. And the financial markets continued to work their way higher this week and are now within shouting distance of historic all-time record high prices. J.P. Morgan kicked off the start of earnings season with record first quarter profits and revenue that exceeded, of course, analyst expectations. Jamie Dimon, the CEO of the bank, stated that even amid some global geopolitical uncertainty, the U.S. economy continues to grow, employment and wages are going up, inflation is moderate, financial markets are healthy, and the consumer and business remain strong. Sounds like a classic definition of a Goldilocks economy, an economy that's not too hot, that it causes inflation, and not too cold, that it causes a recession. We are in an optimal state with full employment, and economic stability, something that the fear mongers in the financial media have failed not only to mention, let alone recognize. Once again, this market proves the point that the only free lunch on the street of dreams is diversification. A portfolio invested across asset classes and within asset classes is the way to go. Looking back over the last 20 years, if you just missed the best 10 days in the stock market, your overall return was cut in half. That's as my son Ryan would say, that's a buzzkill. 10 days over two decades. The only way to achieve investment success is to stay invested in your own personal Goldilocks portfolio. Appropriate to your goals, appropriate to your age, appropriate to your risk tolerance. Not too hot, not too cold, just right. Now, if you're sitting there wondering, how do I get a Goldilocks portfolio? Why sit there and wonder when you can know? Simply pick up the phone or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Thank you for your parking ticket. Did you know commercial delivery companies receive up to 7,000 parking tickets a day in New York City? That's responsible for around $120 million a year in revenue for the city. Learn how to maximize your revenue by listening to No Pain, No Gain. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And Bob and I want to give you the most common sense advice you can use with your planning and investing. And money saved in taxes is just as green as any money you can make invested in the markets. That's why we put together our latest guide, Five Ways to Maximize Your Retirement Accounts, just giving you some tips on how you can save on taxes with your investments. You can download it for free. Simply text the word BULLISH to 555 555- 888. That's the word bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888, five ways to maximize your retirement accounts. You can download our free guide and find out how to maximize taxes in 2019. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. So Bob, let's talk about some of the financial lies we sometimes tell ourselves and the first one that I think of is, why bother with investing? It's rigged against the little guy and just become an anti-investor, right? Yeah, that's, a, that's one of the most ridiculous statements I've ever heard, Rye, because you know when you, when you think about it, the little guy, and that's all retail investors. Now, let's be certain about this, Rye. If you have yes. $200 million, are you a little guy or a big guy in the world of investing? $200 million, I would like to think you're a big guy, I would hope. No, you're not. You're just a retail investor because it's the big guys are the institutions and they do have an advantage in some ways. But when it comes to just investing, the little guy has all the advantages against the big guys. So now I've never heard that, Bob. That sounds very counterintuitive to me. So why does the little guy have the advantage in investing in the stock market over the big guy? Please explain. Well, investing has been democratized, right? You can buy 
a portfolio of stocks cheaper now than you ever have in your lifetime. You have index funds, uh, you have ETFs that are indexes, you have full access to the markets and your purchases aren't going to move the market where if you're a big institutional investor, you're buying millions of shares, just your buying can move the price where you're costing yourself money when you invest. Yeah, no, you're right. The, the the ability to execute now, and to your point, Bob, the costs have become so low for the quote-unquote little guy or the retail investor. You're right. It's cheaper to invest than it's ever been before, and you don't have to worry about moving the market, which really comes down to just staying invested in the market as opposed to trying to time the market. And that's the whole thing. If you look at the S&P 500 or any big market index, basically over the last 100 years, it's averaged about 7% after inflation. That means you're going to double your money every 10 years, whether you have $100 million or you have $1,000, right? So I don't yeah. see where any investor is at a disadvantage. Yeah. And another irony to that is if you just own the S&P as an index over the last 10 years, you probably averaged, you know, I think it was over 8% a year. If you owned a hedge fund and you were, quote unquote, the big money, all the hedge funds actually underperformed. So the big guy got screwed royally yeah. over the last decade and the little guy actually won. So it's actually kind of ironic there. Another lie that we tell ourselves is you only live once, might as well spend now. You know, forget the future, just spend your money, Bob. Well, you know what, Ryan? I think that, uh, that should come uh, with the same old adage that every person who ever has a trust fund is told, never spend principal. Yes, exactly. You got And this is one of the reasons why you want to plan because my guess is it gets a little nerve wracking as you get close to retirement and retirement because you don't know quite what you're spending. And the fear there is, Bob, if you don't know what you're actually spending, am I spending over what I'm making every year? And how does that correlate into my retirement? Am I going to chew into my assets too quickly, start using all my principal so I run out of money? And that's why it's so important to sit down figure out what your budget is and figure out what you should be saving every year so you don't start drawing down your principal, just like you said. And that's it, right? That's why you That's why you can't sleep at night. You sit there wondering, am I going to run out of money? When every appointment that you and I have with new clients is that it takes a while to figure out how much you're spending because they don't know. You don't know how much you're spending right now. It's one of the biggest reasons why you should sit down and do a financial plan. Yeah. And the other thing is, it's not your parents' retirement, right? I mean, you're going to live a lot longer than your parents did. You're probably going to have medical costs that are unforeseen. They're going to cost a lot more than it did for your parents. We always talk about inflation. It's that hidden tax because cost of living is going to go up. So more than ever, you have to make sure that you have a portfolio that's built for the long term. These aren't problems that the last generation had that you're going to have. So it's even more important that you're really keeping your spending in check, you're saving enough, and that you have a portfolio that's set up to win over 30 years, as opposed to maybe five, 10 years, like you might've been able to get away with a couple a, a generation ago, rather. The next lie, Bob, that we tell ourselves is the bank is the safest place to keep my money right now. I totally disagree with this. Well, of course, right? Because you know, the, all banks leak. They leak? What does that mean? Yeah. That means, well, your money's sitting there and you think you're safe, Inflation is eating away at your purchasing power. That hidden insidious tax of inflation, you're losing 2% a year if you have money sitting anywhere. So if you don't make at least 2%, your portfolio is leaking. Your money's shrinking. Well, Bobby, here's the scary thing. Even if I'm getting 2.5%, which is a magnificent rate to get on my money market fund right now, I'd brag to all my friends, I still have to pay taxes on that 2.5% which actually means my real return after taxes is less than 2%. And you said the cost of living is going up by 2%. That means I'm losing money every single year. That's a bummer. Well, that's only if you're lucky enough to put your money in the bank and they leave you alone. See, they have these predators sitting in the corner of every bank branch now looking to sell you an annuity so that you can get even less return on your money. Sounds like a very terrible scenario, Bob. Um, and I think that's, that's not safe, right? They're not safe. Yeah. <laughs> Buy their stock. No, they'll it, put your money in the bank. Right. So that's why you really have to build yourself a portfolio of income producing investments. And just sitting in a CD that's getting two, even 3% just isn't going to cut it. And right now it's more critical than ever because rates are low. Um, and if you're not getting your money to work, that's going to be a huge detriment over the long term for you. The other one, Bob, which I hope you aren't saying to yourself right now is, I'll rely on Social Security. I don't have to worry about anything else. That's going to cover my expenses, which you know that's not going to happen. 
No, and it's not even the, the whole all the fears that you have uh, combined with Social Security. You know, every day you read an article, Social Security is running out of money. They're going to start means testing your benefit. They're going to force you to take it later and take less. Well, it really doesn't matter because it's not enough. It's not enough for anyone. Um, it's only going to account for maybe 30 to 40 percent of your income needs in retirement. So you need to have a plan to make sure that you don't run out of money, that your money's always growing and that you're always to achieve your income goal that, that fill that gap that we talk about, that income gap that you have in retirement. Yeah. And the other thing is there's almost 80 ways for a couple to take social security. So it's so critical when you're doing that planning to figure out customized for you, what's the best way to take social security and context your entire plan. Right. Sounds like to me, uh, everybody needs to be thinking about planning. And if you're thinking to yourself, I need to be financially healthy. I need to know what I own in my portfolio is appropriate, that I'm not leaking uh, with my money at the bank. I want to know what it's costing me to achieve these subpar returns. I need to know if I'm positioned to succeed. Well, here's your opportunity to know. All you have to do is be one of our next few callers and have saved at least 200000 for your retirement. It's a full holistic review where we'll look at everything. It's the only review you'll ever need. So gather up all your statements, put them in a folder, stick them in a shopping bag. You don't even have to open up the envelopes. We're going to sit down with you and review everything and build your own personal 360 financial portal, which will allow you to become financially organized and view your complete financial life in real time at your convenience when you feel like looking at it. We're going to break down your portfolio and see if you have the three key elements of a successful strategy. Diversification. You want to make sure that you don't have too much of your eggs in the same basket. You want to be certain that you have a portfolio that's bulletproof against inflation and volatility. Cost, fees. You know, there's a lot of hidden costs in the portfolios that, that you have right now. I don't know about you, but I don't like being overcharged. And I certainly don't want to be overcharged by my own portfolio. We're going to help you to reduce those fees, take some of those costs, take them out of the pocket of the banks and the insurance companies and put it in your pocket where it firmly belongs. Income. We want to look at income and make sure that you have a dependable, repeatable income stream. You know, we all need that additional income in addition to Social Security, to addition to our pensions, to be certain that we can have an income stream that's dependable and repeatable and fills that gap of income once we're retired. And when we are retired, the number one goal is to make sure we stay retired and income is absolutely critical to that goal. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan where we'll answer that age old question, are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for over 40 years, for over four decades. We've been helping families like yours get from your financial point A to your point B, to your goals, to your dreams with the highest odds of success and only the certainty that a fiduciary like Payne Capital Management can provide. So don't waste time. Call or text at 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you have over $200,000 saved for retirement. Call or text now at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Here's your shot to get a second opinion. Make sure you're on track for retirement at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. With a constantly changing financial landscape, having a written, customized plan is more important than ever. Turn to the team at Paying Capital Management. Call or text 844-752-6692 to schedule a complimentary financial review. That's 844-752-6692. Find out how to better prepare for your financial future. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. It's time for Financial Propaganda of the Week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news and call out the biggest offenders of offering obscene and profane financial guidance to help you protect yourself from making any ill-advised financial decisions. 
So, Bob, what did you find out there this week in the horrid world of financial propaganda? Wonderful headline, Rye. A tragedy is unfolding in the stock market. A tragedy? Oh, my God. I need to know, Bob. There's a possibility of a 30% correction. Wow, a 30% possibility. Now, how high are these odds? I mean, is this, are we talking 90%, 50%? I need to know. Well, here it is. The first line in the article. The question is, how, when, and where? <laughs> yeah, so please do tell. <laughs> they don't know. But there's going <laughs> to be helps. a scenario. There's going to be a scenario where we're going to have a blow off top in the market uh, because the central banks aren't raising interest rates any longer. And it's, um, you know, they only get, they only intervene when things get hairy. But of course, if they get hairy, aren't they going to intervene? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. But uh, <laughs> basically, they're predicting a big crash. Uh, they don't know when, they don't know where, they don't know why, but the headline certainly grabs your attention. It certainly does. And I think, you know, one thing we've ignored this year is you're, you're hearing all about growth is slowing around the world. And that's not really news. Everybody knew that growth was going to slow around the world. In fact, the U.S. has slowed from last year, but it's been a very slow-growing economy now for you know really a decade, Bob. And mm -hmm. you know, I think the problem is we're ignoring that a lot of risks that were in the market have now disappeared. Yeah, so true, Ryan. Here's the thing that cracks me up in this article. It says you know we're about to enter in July the longest economic expansion in the history of our country. That's amazing. However, however, you don't realize this is just a bear market rally. Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, the economy is doing better than ever, but the market's going to sell off, which makes no sense because if the economy is doing well, typically the, the market follows suit. So I, I don't get the rationale there, Bob. Well, here's the thing, right? This author says that uh, with the market rallying, it's left so many people confounded because it's just so inconsistent with their negative view. So- Fund flows are coming out. Hedge funds are underperforming. It doesn't realize, the only thing he doesn't recognize is perhaps they're wrong. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I think more than ever right now, you have to be really careful because there is this, this negativity out there with where the economy is, where interest rates are. But the reality of it is if the fact that we're having slow growth is better than no growth. And that's really all the market cares about long term as an investor. So it's probably one of the better times to be invested despite what the financial propaganda says, Bob. Hey, Ryan, it's like eating. The best time to put money to work is when you have it. Well said, well said. Another article I found this week is more like anti-propaganda, Bob. Um, There's an article mm. that was entitled, What Happens When You Miss the Best Days in the Stock Market? And this is some pretty cool statistics. So basically, you know, the thing we talk about all the time is how dangerous it is to time the market. Well, someone just ran an analysis on this, and if you were fully invested in the stock market from January of 1999 to December of this past year, which is about 20 years invested, the S&P mm -hmm. averaged 5.62% a year, which is a little lower than the historical averages, but you had two bear markets in there, right? We had the tech bubble burst, and we had the credit crisis uh, back in 2008. The analysis went on to say, if you missed the 10 best days over 20 years, Bob, Instead of having a 5.6% return on your money on average, what do you think your return went to? I bet you got cut in half. Man, you're good. 2% a year, just missing the 10 best days in the market. Um, and then if you go the next 20 days, you missed 20 days of the best trading in the market, you were actually down negative 0.33% a year. Missed 20 days in 20 years, you have a negative return on your money. So you know who's smart enough to know that uh, you know what 20 days are going to 10 days let's even say 10 days are going to be the best days not to miss over a 20-year period you have to be really good to figure that out which really just shows you that man trying to time the market is virtually impossible wait a minute Ryan, i gotta give you kudos because uh, you were invested in those 20 days that's because i never took my money out of the market bob I oh there advice. you go that's very wise <laughs> <laughs> Well, because I think, I think what we forget is, well, number one, we talk about the reason you want to be invested in the markets is because of income. And regardless yeah. if the market goes up or down every year, your portfolio generates income, and that income goes up over time, just like your expenses do. And really, the market only goes up once in a while. In the meantime, you collect your rental income from your portfolio, and then there's once in a while, you get these big jumps in the market, and the problem is you can't predict it ahead of time. 
you know, I see that in every financial propaganda article. They always talk about, well, I, I predicted the market would go down, I got out, and then I got back in, but they never bring up the fact that they didn't gather any income, that they weren't collecting that two and a half, three, four percent in dividend yield every year, which if you know you just get the dividends and they compound over time, you double your money every 12, 13, or 14 years. Well, that's exactly right, because think about the last couple months, right? The market sold off heavily into December. If you went to cash, now you're earning you know, less than 2% on your money, prob probably. Now the market's all the way back to where it was. And in the meantime, Bob, if you, were, if you stayed invested, you collected dividends the whole way through. You collected a dividend in January. You just collected another rental check or a dividend in April. So you wouldn't have received any of those dividend checks had you just been sitting in cash waiting. It makes no sense. It doesn't make any sense at all. And a lot of these companies not only pay a dividend, right, but they increase the dividend every year. There, there are companies that we call them the uh, dividend kings that uh, have increased their dividends every year, 50 consecutive years. No matter what the business cycle does, whether it's a bear market or bull market, Dividends can be increased, and a lot of times they increase every single year consecutively. Exactly right. And that's why, in context to your portfolio, what you have to think about is your cost of living is going to go up over time, and your income needs to go up over time, too. That's why you can't put all your money into an annuity where you get a fixed amount every year because over time, that fixed amount is less versus the cost of living and even fixed income. You want to own bonds in your portfolio, but your interest rate is fixed. It doesn't go up over time. So it's so important to have increasing cash flow investments in your portfolio. So if you're thinking to yourself, I need an income plan for retirement. I need a plan that's going to get me through the long term. Here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you have over $200,000 safe for retirement. Myself and Bob will run for you our total financial master plan. And we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review where we look at the whole picture. Simply print those statements off the computer, put them in a folder. March statements should be in by now. Bring them in the office. What we're going to do for you is build you your own personalized, customized wealth portal where you can see your whole financial picture at a bird's eye view, and we can look at all the critical components. We're going to look at everything from income. Income is so critical for retirement. How are you going to fill in that income gap when you stop working? How are you going to pull money from your portfolio? We're going to show you how to optimize or increase the income on your portfolio so you create an income stream that you can't outlive. We're going to look at diversification. Did you get hit really hard in December when the market sold off heavily? Did you feel the pain? No pun intended. Is your portfolio protected against the ups and downs of the market? Bob and I are going to show you how to bulletproof or safeguard your portfolio in retirement. And we're going to look at fees. There's a lot of hidden costs in your investment portfolio you don't know you're paying. And those annuities, mutual funds, brokerage products, insurance products, Bob and I are going to show you how to reduce those hidden costs in your portfolio so there's more money in your pocket for retirement. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, and we're going to project out, are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you, utilizing strategies now we have worked on for over four decades to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of our next few callers, you've saved over 200000 for your retirement. Our team will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation. There's no cost. There's no strings attached, but there's no plan unless you call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Seven five two six six nine two. This is Bob. I'm with Rye. We're the pains. No pain, no gain. Financial Radio. Ready for what Bob and Ryan have to say next? All right, everyone, gird your loins. Let's find out. Try and pain, Bob Payne. No pain, no gain. Financial Radio. And Bob and I are simple men, so we like to keep it simple for you. And that's why we want to make sure that you have the most common sense advice for your planning and investing. And money saved on taxes is just as green as any money you can make invested. And that's why we put together our newest guide, Five Ways to Maximize Your Retirement Accounts. Figure out how to optimize your health savings accounts, 401ks, Roth IRAs. You can download the guide for free. Simply text the word bullish. That's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 
888 so we can maximize the amount of money that's in your pocket for retirement, not the government. Five ways to maximize your retirement accounts. You can download the guide for free. Simply text the word bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. And if you want to learn more about Bob and myself, you can go to bebullish.com and you can subscribe to the show, get all the back episodes as well. And you can see for real if Bob's hair is real, which it is, but check it out for yourself. Go to bebullish.com. You can learn more about pain capital management and what we do here. And most weeks, you can catch most of our advisors, including myself, on CNBC, Fox Business News, Yahoo Finance with our latest commentary on the markets, the economy, where we think things are going. And if you ever have a question for myself or Bob, you can always email us, questions at bebullish.com. That's questions at bebullish.com. Bob and I answer all your questions directly. And if it's a really good question, we answer it right here in the show. Just like every week, we got a couple good questions and we have our studio operator, the man behind the scenes, Mark Haywood, who's going to answer or is going to give us those questions to answer. Good morning, Mark. How are you doing? All right, gentlemen. I have my house Targaryen sigil I'm wearing. I've got my pimento cheese and I'm, I'm ready for this big weekend of sports and entertainment. Man, oh, man. This is Game of Thrones. It doesn't get better than that. It really doesn't. It really doesn't, Ryan. This is the pinnacle right here. This is what it's all about. (laughs) I'm happy for you, Mark. (laughs) (laughs) Well, let's see what we've got here today. A couple of good questions have come in. Let's take one from Marty in Franklin Lakes, New Jersey, who says, Bob, I've always been an aggressive investor. I like to see my money grow. At what age am I supposed to get conservative? You know, Marty, that's a great question, but it's really a relative term. You know, it depends a lot about on how old you are and what you mean by aggressive. Is aggressive, I invest in one stock or two stocks, or do I just invest in U.S. stocks or index funds or mutual funds or annuities? You know, it's pretty kind of a really kind of a loaded question. But typically, when you're an aggressive investor, it means you have all your money at risk, no different than a gambler at a casino and what we call a speculator. So it's if you're going to be an investor, the best time to get conservative is the day you start, right? Everybody should have a balanced portfolio. Don't you think, Ryan, is that why we created the whole A to B process so that we can answer a question, no matter who you are, on exactly what you should own and you should know exactly why you should own it. Yeah, and I think more to the point, we always talk about you take that risk tolerance test and then your advisor puts you into a strategy based on the risk tolerance tests. Well, that has nothing to do with your goals. <laughs> so, no. you know, you got you to go back from what, what return do you need to get your goals first? I think, Bob, is the question you need to ask yourself. Uh, right. You can't depend on how you answer six questions or 12 questions in a risk tolerance questionnaire, because first of all, your, pers- your perspective on risk changes with how your portfolio does. For example, at the end of December, when we had the worst December since 1931, most people would be more conservative or more risk adverse yeah. answering those questions as opposed to today with the market almost at an all-time record high people would be very different in the way they answer those questions so those tests are very dangerous and you certainly don't want to set your portfolio strategy to six questions or 12 questions based on what your statement did last week yeah and another point on top of that that you want to think about is once you figure out what your goals are and then you determine what rate of return do you need to get to those goals And let's just say you need to average 5% on your money a year to get to your goals. Well, maybe you could get 6 or 7%, but if you have to take more risk to get that, and even if you get that 6 or 7%, it's probably not going to change your lifestyle. So why risk the downside, which could hurt your portfolio for retirement, just to get a little better return if you don't need it? Well, that's why I like our wealth projection tools, right? It's, you know, one picture can save you 3,000 hours of flapping your lips. Uh, <laughs> gives you an opportunity to really see the impact of the decisions you're making. So when you sit there and you say, oh, well, I really want to be aggressive. Like, Marty, I want to be aggressive. I want to make money. I want to make money. Well, here's the thing, Marty. If you get an extra half of 1% and we do the wealth projection, then you'll see that it has no impact at all on your lifestyle. But by reaching for that extra return, you end up losing half your money in the next big, vicious bear market. It destroys you financially and mentally. You look at the penalty of it. And the thing is, everybody is, I think, can apply common sense when it comes to investing, but you need that projection. You need that written document in front of you, Rye, to really see the impact of your thinking and you know, not these just generic terms, I'm aggressive, I'm conservative. 
you know, I'm fearful, I'm greedy. You know, you just want to have something that you can really sink your teeth into. Well, thanks for writing in, Marty. Let's take a question now from Wendy in Rye, New York. Wendy says, Ryan, our 401k plan at work now has a Roth option available for future contributions. Should I take advantage of that? Ooh, that is a great question. And I'm sorry if I get too excited there. (laughs) But yes, that could be a great opportunity. So the difference is when you put money in your 401k, you get a deduction today, your money grows tax deferred, and then you take it out later and pay taxes on it. The Roth 401k, you don't get a deduction today. But that money also grows tax deferred and you can take it out completely tax free later. Now, most of us actually had our tax bracket go down this past year with the new tax law. So if you're in a lower tax bracket this year, it may make sense to do a Roth 401k, Bob, versus doing a regular 401k because of that tax benefit. You know, right. It always comes down to the math. So it's really a decision you should make with your CPA or someone who prepares your taxes with your financial advisor because there are pros and cons. Either way, you still benefit. I mean, the the number one thing is make sure you're maxing out the contribution, whether it's 401k or Roth. But I think with most of you, the Roth is the way to go right now. Yeah. And actually, I would put a plug here, Wendy. You may want to download our five ways to maximize your retirement accounts just because we break down all the different options you have between the regular 401k, Roth 401k, Roth conversion, health savings account, your head might be spinning, but it's a great breakdown to figure out what might be best for you. And you can download that for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. So Rye, I have a question for you. On a scale of one to 10, how financially organized does Marty and Wendy sound to you? I mean, I wasn't impressed with Marty's question. He's got a long way to go, but Wendy asked a good question. So I'm going to split the difference. I'm going to give it a five today. Hmm. Yeah, it's only halfway to the 10. But you know, let's ask all of you a question. On a scale of 1 to 10, how financially organized are you right now? Wouldn't you want to be a 10? Well, here's your chance. If you want to be a 10, all you have to do is be one of the next few people that call and have saved at least 200000 for retirement. Because Ryan and I will create for you your own 360 financial portal. This is a holistic view of what you own and also an understanding of what you own it because we're going to display your goals right on your homepage to see what your goals are and more importantly, how you're progressing towards those goals. And this is a 360 degree financial portal, which will tell you what your net worth is in real time, anytime you feel like dropping in to look at it. In addition, we're going to take your portfolio and break it down to see if you have the three key elements of a successful strategy. You want to be diversified. You want to be certain that you're diversified and there's no overlap in your portfolio. And you want to be able to bulletproof that portfolio from the volatility and the inflation inherent in the marketplace. We're going to look at cost, fees. You don't want to be overcharged. I don't like being overcharged. No one likes being overcharged. And you certainly don't want to pay more in fees than necessary to achieve your goals. You have a lot of hidden costs in those mutual funds buried deep in the prospectus of that annuity. We're going to break down those costs and show you ways to take those costs out of the insurance company's pocket and put it in yours. Income. We want to be certain that we have that income gap filled. That all happens to us in retirement. You know, we want to be certain we have a repeatable, dependable income stream that will overcome inflation and taxation and help us to achieve our goals and dreams. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, answering that age old question, Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for over 40 years? That's right. For four decades, we've been helping families like yours get from your financial point A to your point B, to your goals, to your dreams, with your values, with the least amount of risk and only the certainty that a fiduciary like Payne Capital Management can provide. So don't waste time. Call or text at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Here's your shot to get a second opinion. Make sure you're on track for retirement at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. We have a couple slots left. If you could just call right now and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, we'll do it at no cost. That's 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is no pain, no gain, Financial Radio.
Here's this week's Spotlight on No Pain, No Gain. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. Bob and I, we like to keep it simple because we're simple men, so we want to keep it simple for you. And that's why we try to give you the most practical, common sense advice as you're planning and investing. And money saved in taxes is just as green as money you can make invested. That's why we put together our latest guide, Five Ways to Maximize Retirement Accounts, just giving you all the different ways that you can save money on taxes through different retirement savings vehicles. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish. That's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word bullish, to 555-888. That's five ways to maximize your retirement accounts. Everything from 401ks, Roth 401ks, Roth conversions, to health savings accounts. We break it all down for you. Five ways to maximize your retirement accounts. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. And now we have a very special guest on the show to make it an all pain morning. My brother, Bob's son, financial advisor at Payne Capital Management, Chris Payne. Chris, brother, thanks for being on the show this morning. Fry, it's always an honor and a pleasure to hang out with you and dad. I can't argue with that. That's the truest thing you've said in a long time. I aim to speak the truth. All weekend. <laughs> Well, Chris, this is our spotlight segment. Each week, we dissect a real financial plan, and we uncover what we call the flaws or pain points so our listeners can avoid the same mistakes with their own planning and investing. And you worked on a case recently. Why don't you give us the breakdown and how you help this couple get on their path to what we call financial freedom? Sure. So you know, it's not always about investments in when you're doing a financial plan for somebody. You know, it's not always about, you know, the stocks and the bonds or the annuities in the portfolio. And a lot of times what it comes down to is what kind of income they're going to get in retirement. You know, an income can come from Social Security. Um, it can come from pensions. What I want to focus on here is this couple, they both have a pension. And one of the things that they told me was that the one spouse is currently on disability. And she didn't think that she was entitled to take her pension until full retirement. She thought that as a result of being on on government disability, that would preclude her from being able to draw on her pension. So, you know, one of the things I always like to emphasize is is having a a really good network of professionals that we work with. And I happen to work with a client of mine who is a an attorney that specializes in disability. So what I did was I actually called her up and I said, hey, you know, I have somebody that I'm working with. She's currently on disability. And she doesn't think that she's able to take her pension until full retirement age. And what I found out was that there's two types of disability. And the type of disability that she was on would actually enable her to take her pension today. So right off the bat, we were able to find a way for them to not only collect on that pension, but because they really didn't need it to live, they're able to save the money in that pension until they're actually going to retire in the next five years. So Chris, she was entitled to a pension benefit. How many more years was it? before she thought she could start taking it? When did she intend on taking it? Five years from now? 10 years from now? It was nine years, actually. So nine years. So for nine years, you're going to have 15000 You're going to invest in compound that they didn't realize they were entitled to. Exactly. Boy, that comes under the heading is not knowing what you own and knowing why you own it. And it's sometimes we just, uh, you know, we don't take the time to look at these things. Why you need another set of eyes. I mean, that, that's probably the most valuable thing that came out of this whole meeting, I would think. Well, I mean, that would have been basically been $81,000 of money that she would have missed out on. Right, including the compounding and allowing the other money to grow. Fantastic result. Yeah. One of the nice things about these financial plans is like, to your point, Bob, is you just uncover so many things. Like a lot of times we'll find accounts you didn't know you have. Like in this case, there's benefits you don't know about. That's why it's just so therapeutic to just do a tally up of everything you have, what benefits are available to you, and then how to maximize that essentially. I mean, that's essentially what financial planning is all about. Yeah, and it's not even just that, Rye. You know, Chris, you also are able to reduce their overall risk to their portfolio because when you have more money, you can take less risk to generate the same return, you know, in terms of income. So it's a, it's a win-win right across the board. And, you know, Dad, to your point, they are taking a lot of risk at this point. It's unnecessary risk. And, you know, I always like to say you get a better outcome with income. And, you know, at this point in their lives, they really just need the income to live off of because, as I said before, Social Security and pension – you know, really going to cover their other lifestyle expenses, you know, really don't need to take that much away from the portfolio. And that extra amount is going to come from the interest and dividends that gets generated long term. Chris, and I see on this portfolio, you're able to increase the income by another $10,000 or in this case, double the income on the portfolio a year that they can live on above the other incomes that they're receiving, which 
that's a great position to be. Yeah, it really is because you know now they don't have to take a lot of risk and they can really have that peace of mind that they know in the future that really they don't have to take that much risk in the market and they can just use the income coming out of the portfolio. Now, Chris, I've seen this in every bull market. We love our capital gains. We love to see appreciation. But last I checked, you can't buy lunch with relative performance. You actually need some cash. You need income. And it looks like with an extra $10,000 a year, your clients are going to be having a lot of nice lunches. Cash flow is king, Bob. Well, Chris, as Bob likes to say, another financial masterpiece. Well done on this case. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, I need a plan like this. I need to know what I own, why I own it. I need to optimize the income on my portfolio so I have an income stream for life that I can't outlive. Here's a shot to do it. We still have a couple slots left. If you give us a call right now and you have over $200,000 safe for retirement, myself, Bob, and my brother, Chris Payne, will run for you our total financial master plan. And we're going to do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review just like this where we look at the big picture. Simply bring those statements in. March statements are probably in. You can print them off the computer or they come in the mail this month. Put them in a folder. Bring them in the office. We're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal where we get a bird's eye view of your entire financial picture. And then we can analyze all the critical components. We can look at everything from income. We're able to double the income for this couple for retirement. How can we optimize the income on your portfolio to create a stream of income that fills in that income gap when you're retired so you don't touch your principal? We're going to look at diversification. Did your portfolio get hit hard back in December when the market sold off? Are you properly diversified? Are you properly protected? We're going to show you how to safeguard and protect your portfolio for retirement. And we're going to look at fees. There's a lot of hidden costs in these investment portfolios. A lot of those insurance products, annuities, mutual funds, brokerage products. We're going to show you how to reduce those hidden costs so there's more money in your pocket for retirement. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan and determine the most critical question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now, our family has worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. Hey, don't miss out. All you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. We have a few spots left. If you're one of the next few callers and you've saved over 200000 for your retirement, our team will run for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost, but of course, there's no plan unless you call or text 844 752 6692. That's 844-752-6692. All right. Well, another great show and great to have you, Chris, an all-pain weekend with my brother. Thanks for being on the show this morning, Chris. Right. It's an honor and a pleasure to spend the weekend with you and dad. Well, I think the honor and privilege and pleasure is is all yours and dad's to be with me, in my personal <laughs> opinion. You know, Chris, uh, I'm afraid that uh, we're going to have to widen the doors at the house to get his head through there, don't you think? <laughs> and you know, everybody always said Ryan was the most modest child. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so true. Well, but do we have stories we could tell, huh, buddy? <laughs> Amen. We'll, we'll stop the show there. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, have a great weekend. And as always, be bullish. Information provided on today's show is provided for information purposes only and does not constitute investment, tax, or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with an investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action.